Hello everyone, Janice Strata here with a very intense match of Ricochet on the new Forge World um, variant of Impact um, called Hakua, or Hakao, not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Um, in this game we ran up against four very good enemy team players with, of course, my team of four. Um, Bambinator, Base God Boo, Confide One, Guess, Huik. Those are the four enemy team players. They have a 2.72, a 2.36, a 1.99, almost 2.0, and a 1.34 KDs, respectively. Um, guess who has over 82,000 kills? The other two, 65,000, over 65,000, over 60,000. But anyway, in this gameplay, um, since it's only my third time to play the map, I didn't really go after very many power weapons, of course. I'm mainly going after the ball, um, and that's the type of gameplay you'll be seeing. Um, shout out to my teammates who did a really good job, and I'll be pausing the film and um, bringing my face back in the top right-hand corner to commentate. Um, in various portions of the game to explain various things. But when you're watching the film with my face out of the top right-hand corner of the screen, that will be the actual commentary that happened while the game was happening. So guys, enjoy. Ricochet. Bye, Rev. There to get that there's snipe. Kill him. The guy just shot and killed for the first strike did just pick up the enemy sniper, and we also have a sniper at our base, on our side, at the same location. Three guys here, three guys here. Need help, dude. I need help. I'm in front of the base. I'm in. Am I rocket? The guy currently in the dead center of your screen just picked up the fresh rockets. They spawn right there, literally where he's standing every three minutes leaning against that little archway uh, where both teams can easily see it. Rocket leak. I'm in. Rocket I got rocketed. They have a devil. They're throwing the ball into our base. They throw the ball all the way into our base. I'm gonna die. I, wow, I got rocketed again in our base. In our base. He's in our base. We need to get back to our base. One shot in our base. Everyone get back to our base. I need help over here. Let's go for bridge, one shot at rocket spawn. Front of you, Genesis. Ball's going to our base left side. Wow. That was ridiculous. I'm getting chased, guys. We need to start slaying. Left hand side. Okay, can I move out of our base, please? Wow. Now right here, I'd very briefly like to mention that um, it's kind of strange because I said, can I move out of my base, please, as my teammate was running in front of me. Um, but I said that two or three seconds after it happened. That is because my voice is lagging about one to one and a half seconds um, ahead of the gameplay. So what I'm saying is like one second ahead of how I actually said it in the game. I'm trying to fix this, so please stay tuned. When you gotta get some kills, man. And they have sword. Jeez, where any of the sword is on this map? Now, right here, you, te you hear my teammate Logic say that he didn't even know the sword was on the map. And at this point, when I played this game, neither did I. And so this even goes to show um, and makes the gameplay that more exciting because we are not as familiar with the map as the enemy team. Clearly, because they are having weapons and knowing where things are that we don't. Um, map knowledge will only get you so far. I have no shield, I have no shields. Man. You wanna go around to the right? I can go around to the right if you want. Let's go around to the right. This is not gonna be good. Okay, okay, let's let's push on the right, guys. Okay, get that kill, get that kill, get that one kill, get that one kill. Now it is absolutely crucial to notice here a few short things and that is I knew my teammate logic was to the right of me and that he could have pushed forward and killed the guy who's currently on my screen but if you look on my radar right now you see the yellow X and if you look in the kill feed on the left the blue words say that he just killed logic 
So I know that my teammate is down, but I know that the enemy player in front of me is weak. So I have to make a very split-second decision, and that is to throw the ball to free my weapon hands to enable me to pull out my weapon and kill him. A lot of new players would not recognize that this is what they were supposed to do at this point. And even more specifically, um, a second enemy player spawns in the base while this is going on. And how I end up take, caring that, take care of the enemy player is very important. Um, faking him out and staying alive is just crucial when you're around the base with the ball. Oh no. I may be able to run this in, I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to run it in. I can't. I can't, dude. He's one shot. He's one shot. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. I did it. Hold on, dude. Hold on, dude. Now I want you to notice something very interesting here. While the enemy team may be calling out, there is a crucial mistake that happens there in this communication that you're about to see. Um, the player who I just meleeed with the ball to score the 50 points in their base should have immediately called out to his teammates that I was not dead and was in their base at that current moment. The main reason being because if my teammates were able to get the new ball that was spawning, they would be able to throw it to me in their base and I would just be able to easily walk it in. Uh, this call it doesn't seem to go through or register on the enemy team's side because I end up picking up an easy double kill um, on two players that aren't even facing me, one of which has rockets. It's incredibly crucial to crawl out people who are in your base and take care of them. Otherwise, um, they can be thrown the ball to. And you will see the enemy team do that um, literally right here. I get, to get that negative ball, I get a new ball. Nice. Get that ball, get that ball. I didn't, I didn't make it, I didn't make it, dude. That, wow, that was really bad. He's weak top mid, he's like so weak top mid, it's not even funny. Uh, L, 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 that's you, dude. Oh, nice, dude. Oh my god, I just saved a freaking walk in. Dude, I just got naded across the map. These types of deaths where it's very interesting to go back and watch in theater simply because um, what all too often ends up happening is uh, one player um, dies or calls you out from the enemy team. The enemy team is communicating as well in this game, and I would imagine that they called out that I was one shot and one of the guys hurled the nade over, simply because I wasn't being looked at by any living players that I could tell up until that point, and um, they threw the nade perfectly at that area. So just keep in mind that when you die insanely random deaths uh, against teammate, enemy players that are very good, it's often because they are communicating and calling out your location because you are weak. Mew, Mew right there, dude. Help him, help him get a bit. Nice job. Put the new ball up. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get killed. Okay, I need help by this guy, I need help. One shot in front of their base. I push it, push, all three push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing on top of their base. Uh, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Help me, help me, man. One on their, one on their spawn. I need help, I need help. I need help, man. I didn't go in, I didn't get it in, dude, I couldn't. Push in on the base, push in the base. I'm gonna... Ball on the right side, weak. I just got double teamed. Die, that they threw the ball away. Hold on, Mew, I'm throwing it to you. I still have, I still have long range. Right. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, man, they're on the right hand side, man. We gotta throw that... LMAO, you need to run that in, man. Was... Freaking sword, man. They have sword in there. He died, someone killed him with a nade. Uh, jetpacking so lame. Bottom mid, bottom mid, he's going straight to our base, from the right. 
is two top right. I have the ball, I have the ball. I mean, I have one shot, I have no shield. I have no shield. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. He's on the left side of the base, he's going for it right now. Guys, on the left side of the base, he's gonna run it in. Right now. They got that one shot on that guy. Nice throw, man. She just got in our base. What, what's going on? How did that guy not die? Several things worth noting here, the first of which is my teammate doing a very good job of when he is standing next to our score zone, our own score zone, while two enemy players are charging in on him, throwing it as far away from the base as possible. And this is obviously because you don't want the enemy team to kill you, pick up the ball, and score. You have the potential to move it at a, a very long range without them being able to do anything about it. And even more importantly, if the enemy team has total control of your own base, and you happen to catch the ball for any length of time, and they're moving it in on your base quite quickly, what you want to do is you want to prolong or delay them as much as possible. And this involves throwing the ball off the map, or at least outside of the um, kill zone. On this map, there's more of a kill zone that you work around, and throwing it off of that. Um, and that's more of a desperate measure, but it really does work on maps like Haven. You can just reset the ball to the center of the map, and yeah, you got to wait 10 seconds, but the enemy team having control of your base suddenly isn't so big of a deal because they don't have the ball and they're not the enemy team is not at their base they're at your base so if you just reset the ball really hardcore defend that area for 10 seconds grab the ball move to their base and they're all at your base then it it works out pretty well for you if you can execute that strategy correctly another thing is we just kill off the enemy player in our base also because we don't want him to receive throws from his teammates I don't think we need to give the ball to them that easily. Uh, that's really a mistake. They're really good at they're really good at maneuvering the ball. They just grabbed them. I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm not familiar with this map at all. Two one shots. I die. Wow. Well. I'm gonna get destroyed, man. I got rocket on the spawn. Throwing the ball into the middle of the map. I, I one shot, a lot of mid, yeah, coming to our base. Rockets are, at our base. Rockets are dead. We need to put that in. One more in our base, he's gonna grab it. Wow, whatever. Guys, come on, we're not gonna lose this. I died in the middle. They're near rocket spawn. Oh, Kerry, you need to ask for help, man. Right side of our base. Everyone push right, everyone push right. We have the high ground here. I'm gonna go for ball. So as you can see a little bit to the left of my shield bar, that is where the sword spawns on this map. Okay, uh, there's a sword right here. Uh, there's a sword right here. Guys, we need to get this sword. I'm getting destroyed. Like, we need a long range shoot. Top middle. I'm pushing the left, I'm pushing the left. Trying to stay alive, man. Oh my gosh, they keep nailing my shield like no tomorrow. Got him. They got three down, they got two down. They're gonna hardcore camp this out. They're gonna hardcore camp this out. We gotta run this in. I'm gonna. I need help on the ball. Not right now. I need help on the ball. Rockets are up. Bye bye rockets. For me. No. Okay, I'll grab them. We need to be very careful. Uh, logic. Well, I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. I'm. I need you. I need you to kill these kills. I need you to get these kills. I can't run it in, dude. Oh no. Oh, oh no, I got assassinated. I got assassinated. He's running to our base right now. Oh, Darn it. That is so dumb. That Holy sucks. crud, that was dumb. The reason that push failing was such a big deal is because the enemy team is ahead by 20 points and they could just sort of camp it out at their base and defend and um, sort of stalemate and win the game. Um, and we did have full rockets there. Unfortunately, one of the enemy players was very good 
and thruster packed out of the way of one of my teammates' rockets and then killed my teammate who had rockets. And then I, being so enthralled with what was going on, and the fact that if he got that kill, I could run it into the base and score, I got assassinated from behind because I wasn't watching my radar. Um, again, this boils down to map knowledge. I don't think that would have happened, uh, especially me being assassinated, if I would have known the map a little bit better. Um, but now what follows is a very interesting thing. Uh, again, the enemy's team team's communication uh, fails them uh, drastically. And um, this push failing actually doesn't end up mattering at all. Just grab their snipe. Hold on, I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get snipe. Nice, good job. Raffle, Raffle, I'm throwing it to you. Raffle, I'm throwing it straight to you, dude. Nice, dude. Okay, let's get this new ball on on all rockets. Stay in their base, dude. Stay in their base. Stay in their base. I'm grabbing the new ball. I got spunk. Where is he? Top mid. I'm in still. Nice job, dude. We won the game. Effing heck yes. So you can see, we had a teammate inside the enemy base, and I was able to throw the ball to him twice. And this is very, very important to not only keep control of the enemy base after you've capped it, but to also keep control of the middle and where the next ball is spawning so that you can essentially control the two most important areas of the base, the place you need to score and the place you're going to need to throw from to score. And that's the main critical point to control once you do have control of the enemy base. It really is a lot of smooth sailing from there, as you saw at the very end. I mean, 100 score in really less than a few minutes. Um, so guys, if you like this type of video where I slow down the commentary and um, just give you guys really in-depth details on what's going on, um, like the video, it helps out a lot. Um, subscribe for more future Halo and Destiny content, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys. Enjoy a little pitiful after-game smack talk from the enemy team. They use a bull shot, or they just think they're good? Oh yeah, we use the bull shot the whole time. Fucking... Let me tell you. You guys got yeah, right. What was my, what was my total destruction? What Can I leave back out? Uh, ah, dang, 18 assists, bro. Yeah. They think I used a, yeah, bull shot got me 18 assists.